Good evening, everyone. This is Steve Luckner with Right Side Broadcasting coming to you with some breaking news. Uh, we've just been seeing reports that multiple people have been stabbed at Mall of America in Bloomington, Minnesota. We don't know uh, what this situation is, why this happened. Just got the information is in, in just a, few, a couple minutes ago and just ran to get on the air. So let's see if we can get you more information about this. Um, Breaking 911 says multiple people stabbed inside Mall of America in Bloomington, Minnesota. That is according to local media. So again, we don't know what this is. Could be a domestic thing, could be a robbery, could be something uh, besides that. So we don't know right now. Let me just make sure your guys are getting, uh, are getting this video okay. Sorry, I have to refresh something here. The video was a little stuck here. So I'm going to uh, just try to get you as much information as I can right away. Let me get on that. See if we can get more information on what exactly is going on here. Albo News, breaking news, is also saying multiple people stabbed at uh, Mall of America. Uh, reports on Twitter said the stabbing happened in the meds department at Macy's. We'll check that out. Hang on one second. Here is a tweet from Matt Belanger. Uh, Witness of stabbing at Mall of America tells KSTP it happened in the men's section of Macy's. She heard screaming and crying and saw multiple victims before hiding to save herself. So that does not sound good. That does not sound like somebody was robbing somebody or somebody was a specific target. Now, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm just saying this is a report from Matt Belanger of KSTP. I'm going to retweet this right now, and I'm going to see if I can get you more information. But uh, but that does not sound good. All right, let me keep going here. Again, we are covering this story that multiple people have been reported stabbed at Mall of America. Let me see if I can find you some more information about this. Mall of America is in Bloomington, Minnesota. Uh, let's see here. Just checking some different sources here. A suspect is in custody, I am hearing now. All right, hang on a second. Let me show you this tweet here. This is from Minnesota, I think Minneapolis Star Tribune. Here we go. The Star Tribune of Minnesota says, a suspect is in custody, says the Bloomington Police Department. So we'll check that tweet out. Suspect is in custody. Let's see what the Bloomington Police Department has to say. A suspect is in custody after stabbing at Macy's. MOA, I'm not sure what that means. BPD will address the media at a media staging area across Killaboo Drive at 8.30 p.m. I'm going to see if we can get that uh, presser. Hang on a second here. So a suspect is in custody, and as we just said, uh, it, supposedly multiple people were stabbed in the men's department at Macy's in Mall of America. Uh, oh, and at, so they're confirming Bloomington Police is confirming a suspect is in custody after a stabbing at Macy's Mall of America. So I'm going to tweet that out. Bloomington, oops. Police confirms. So they are confirming there's been a stabbing at Mall of America in the Macy's, and they're saying a suspect is in custody. So let's see if we can find you any, any, any more information. I want to show you again that tweet I just showed you, which was a, a concerning tweet. Um, I just retweeted it. Where is it here? I have to go to my own page because I retweeted it. That'll help me find it. Here it is. This again is from Matt Belanger of KSTP. He says, a witness of the stabbing at Mall of America tells KSTP it happened in the men's section of Macy's. She heard screaming and crying and saw multiple victims before hiding to save herself. So 
it's hard to say from this, if, if this is true, if this is true that the person really did see this, it's still a bit hard to say what went on because she might have thought somebody was running around stabbing lots of people and, uh, and, uh, and she thought she had to be saved. What we don't know is, you know, it's possible the person stabbing people used to work at that Macy's and was targeting their stabbing at certain people. And so, so we can't tell, certainly this is very concerning that she saw multiple victims and heard screaming and crying and she felt she had to save herself. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's, it's one eyewitness report, supposedly it's imperfect information. So we just don't know right now. The suspect is in custody. Uh, don't know anything about the suspect. Maybe we'll hear more. Um, you know, there's supposed to be a, a police briefing in about six minutes there. So uh, if we can't carry the briefing, we'll tell you what we hear from the briefing. But uh, I'm going to try to find you some more information right now. Let me see what I can dig up here. Let's see. So she's saying mul that that wouldn't have said multiple. I see somebody online. Well, I don't know who that person is, so I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna uh, report that. So they're saying this. All we know again, the suspect a suspect is in custody according to police. We're hearing this one witness report that I'm showing you on on your screen right now, and I'm just trying to dig up some other stuff here. If you hear anything about this, give me a shout on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. And I saw somebody else post something, but I don't think it's like an unverified account, so. Oh, okay. Let me show you real quick here, guys. Let me do this. I found a couple new things, or at least one new thing I want to show you. So this is the uh, Star Tribune in Minnesota. Here's something I just saw. Where did that go? Where did I find this? I dug this up. They posted... If you're at Mall of America now, please call this number. I don't know why they posted that. Now, these are unverified replies, but this person, Jolene Situma, said, uh, I heard the screaming, he got me, he got me and called 911. It was scary AF. The police arrived within four minutes of my call, so it's possible someone else called too. Maybe that's a police number they gave out. Um, so... Uh, I want to just tweet this out as a unverified eyewitness, unverified eyewitness from Mall of America stabbing. Again, this person posted as a reply to the Star Tribune and she said, I heard the screaming, he got me. He got me and called 911. It was scary as F. Uh, police arrived within four minutes. Now, she said... He if somebody was screaming, he got me, that also suggests uh, maybe somebody was attacking people randomly. Because if it was somebody who was like doing a robbery or somebody who was attacking a particular person that they didn't like and knew, um, I'm guessing it's less likely that somebody would say, he got me. But I don't know, you know, it could have been, we really don't know why this happened. Uh, and we, we, we don't know the details of this. We know someone's in custody for this uh, and the police hopefully will give us more details soon. And we've heard a couple, we've heard multiple victims. Uh, we heard this supposed wit eyewitness, I can't confirm this person's an actual eyewitness, who said, I heard the screaming, he got me. Uh, hang on a second, let me leave that up on the screen and see if I can find you any other stuff here. Okay, let me show you now another th story I got here. I need to go to this person's site. Okay, there's his site. I'm gonna follow him for now so we get his updates. And this is from KSTP. 
uh, I believe they're in Minnesota somewhere. Uh, they say developing authorities confirm at least one stabbed at Mall of America. Uh, a heavy police presence was on the scene Sunday evening at the Mall of America, where authorities confirmed at least one person was stabbed at the Macy's store. The response included Bloomington police, at least one ambulance, and the Hennepin County Crime Lab. Two witnesses confirmed the stabbing. Bloomington police tweeted that a suspect is in custody and that a media availability will be held at 8.30 p.m. Jolene Satuma, who I, we, just talk, we just talked about her post, she said she was in the Macy's store when the incident occurred in the men's section. Though she didn't see the reported stabbing, she said she heard a man scream, he got me, he got me, and saw people fleeing the area. And we showed you this post from the Bloomington police before where they said a suspect is in custody after a stabbing at the Macy's uh, uh, Mall of America. Let's see. Uh, she said that, that that witness we just we just heard from this eyewitness. We we read her tweet. She said the police arrived with four minutes, uh, within four minutes. So just trying to get more details here on this uh, stabbing at the Mall of America. See, we if you hear any new news about this, give me a shout on Twitter at Lookner at L O O K N E R. Oh, here's a, a post that Tracy Lee Meyer sent me, which is an interesting post. Hang on, I'll get this up for you. So thank you, Tracy, for writing and sending that in. Let me show the viewers this that you sent me. Thank you, RE3M4NN, for supporting Rights Out. We appreciate it. Uh, RE3M says, Mall of America has their own PD. Are they official police? Is that what you're saying? Mall of America police? Um, so this was sent to me by a viewer, Tracy Lee Meyer, and it was somebody named Festive Greta who posted Mall of America. And I can't confirm this person was really there, but somebody named Festive Greta posted and said Mall of America clearly wasn't too worried about this being worse because stores on the south side of the mall, same side as Macy's, weren't notified. I work at a store on the second floor of the south side and my... ASM, assistant store manager, didn't know about the stabbing until I told her. So take that for what you will. Maybe that's somebody who really does work there. Um, it's possible that they didn't let anybody know because they caught the person so fast. So, you know, we, we heard the, the one eyewitness report unconfirmed that said the police were there in four minutes. So, you know, just because they didn't let people know doesn't mean Mall of America wasn't worried about it. Just might have, the whole thing might have gotten, might have been a very quick action and quick police response. But thank you, Tracy, for writing that. Let's see what else I can find for you on this. Bloomington Police, again, we showed that before. They are confirming a suspect is in custody after a stabbing at Macy's Mall of America. Uh, we've heard We've heard uh, in, in the K in the ABC Minnesota story, they said they've only confirmed one stabbing so far. We've heard some reports of multiple stabbings. Uh, and a BC man says KSTP represents St. Paul, Minnesota. Thank you, BC man. Festive Greta, who tweet we showed, just replied. I think I retweeted it. Did I retweet it? And uh, yeah, no, she she replied to the person who sent it to me saying, don't include me in your right wing narrative. Uh, this is not a right wing narrative, this broadcast. This is just we're covering the news as it happens. So. Mark Cunningham sent me an article about a, a stabbing that happened around a year ago. Uh, at Mall of America, I believe. Is it Minnesota? Is it at the Mall of America? I have to read this article. I'm not even sure, you know, what the up to date. It's from September of last year. So I need to read some more about that. I'm not sure what they ended up, the authorities ended up saying about that. But thank you for sending that in, Mark. Okay, a big focus right now is trying to get you more information. So I am just searching some different sources here and trying to find anything more on this stabbing at Mall of America. I'm seeing a lot of unconfirmed information. I'm gonna show you a photo I just found.
if I can get it on the screen here, from Christina Palladino with Fox 9. Uh, and she says, uh, massive police presence at the Mall of America after reports of a possible incident at Macy's. So she's saying she is seeing lots of police cars. That is a photo that she posted. Again, this is a right side broadcasting. We are covering this report of a uh, stabbing at Mall of America. Thank you, Reload. You sent me, you said there's a feed of the police briefing at kstp.com. We can't just take their feed and show it, however. We're not allowed to do that. So I'll let you know what I hear. If I actually get a feed, we're allowed to show you the press conference. We'll show it to you. But for now, I'll let you know in real time uh, about what happens. But we can't just literally take their feed and show it to you. Tracy Lee Meyer sent me something else. So this is a reporter from you from for USA Today, Nick Penzenstadler, and he posted this. He said, "Stabbing at Mall of America 911 audio. We need more units here. Multiple people stabbed. Let's see what this is. What is this? So this is unconfirmed, guys. This is unconfirmed. It's Minnesota police clips. I'll, I'll play it, but I'm not. I, I can't confirm this is legitimate, but I will play it for you. Five seven all start. Hi hi. Eight seven clear me happy. Hi hi. Six seven clear me happy. Hi hi. One of the men section. Level one men's department. It's one at the mall, just looking. I'll be on the ring road. Hi, hi. Oh, four, did you cover the call? 76. 4983 also. 7 for Tom Rowe. It's not a theft suspect, it's someone that's threatening people. I'm getting information that the suspect is possibly in the dressing room. Macy's LP, he doesn't have eyes on him, thinks he might be in a fitting room, men's fitting room. We have multiple victims here, I'm getting reports. Multiple victims to stabbing. Sounds like at least three victims. Okay, I'm just going to stop this. I'm going to stop this for a second. Supposedly, this is 911 call or police, some kind of police uh, traffic, audio traffic from tonight. And they just said, it's. they're saying mall, they're saying in the dressing room at Macy, so it sounds like it's from tonight. Um, and uh, they're just saying three victims. Um, but let's keep listening. Dog watch is making relief now. Fitting room first floor. Fitting room first floor, 6 7, copy. Suspect still in the fitting room. Copy, suspect in the fitting room. 6 7, we could use uh, a line in the area standing by. They're in route code 3 with 2 to 3 rigs right now. 2 to 3 rigs is going to be enough, 6 7, you need more. Take at least 2 for now. Copy, copy. We need more, we need units here. Copy, we need more help, Macy's. So just to point out, that was somebody kind of urgently saying we need more units here. Yeah, you just coming from HK four three. Three three out. Eight or three three out. Eight four nine four out. Eleven out. Four one. There are a couple more right here. Eight seven ten nine. There are more ambulances. Five seven. We think we have the suspect detained. He has some injuries to himself. It looks like. Probably possibly have a suspect detained with injuries. Probably have located the knife. So there they're saying they have the suspect detained with possible injuries to himself. Well, the four, they have four ambulances in Rattle, Thurman. Also get mall security cleared in here with uh, medic bags for now, too, please. They have our You can clear a line in, have them use the web. You're cutting out. We did clear him in. Which entrance would you like, man? West door into Macy's off of the ring road on the west side. Okay, now some other things that are supposedly on this audio is that we heard the suspect was hiding in the fitting rooms. Of course, if this audio is legitimate, um, we supposedly this also says it was a struggle between officers and the suspect as they took him into custody. Uh, suspect had multiple self-inflicted wounds. One victim with several lacerations to the face and another victim with a stab wound to the back. That is from this site, Minnesota Police Clips. They're saying that they heard that on the footage. Um, so uh, I want you to see if I can get you anything up to date 
a little more up to date about uh, about harder information coming from there. Hang on one second. This is Right Side Broadcast, and we are covering this uh, report of st a stabbing with perhaps multiple victims at Mall of America in Minnesota. Trying to get you the latest information on this. If you have updates, give me a shout at Lookner on Twitter, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. And there's supposed to be a briefing soon from the police. Oh, okay. All right, the, the police are, are briefing now. And so I'm assuming I will very soon hear some more information about this. I'm going to update you as soon as I get the information from the police briefing. Let me show you this from Albo Breaking News real quick. Albo Breaking News reports, Mall of America stabbings, multiple stabbed, at least one in critical condition occurred at Macy's suspect in custody. We don't know why this happened at this point. Uh, we don't know. Could it be terrorism? Could it be somebody who just went a little nuts? Could it be somebody who was targeting attack? Did somebody know the person, that one of the people they stabbed or more of the people they stabbed? We just don't know right now. Okay, uh, brand new update here, brand new update. Bloomington police say two people are stabbed and taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say it was a theft gone wrong in the Macy's dressing room. Let me repeat, police say it was a theft gone wrong in the Macy's dressing room. I'm gonna retweet that out. Oh, I wonder if it's still posted. Ooh, I don't know if, is that was that post taken down? Let's see. Yeah, he took it down. But now this is this post. At Mall of America, suspect attempted to steal stuff from a person in dressing room. Victim was stabbed and another relative stabbed trying to help. Uh, at hospital, uh, non-life-threatening injuries, family held suspect down. So it looks like uh, police are saying Mall of America stabbings uh were part of a failed robbery attempt. So that's what we're hearing now, that these stabbings were part of a failed robbery attempt. Christi Christina Palladino just heard from the police that the suspect attempted to steal stuff from a person in the dressing room. The victim was stabbed, and another relative was stabbed trying to help. At hospital, they both are at hospital with non-life-threatening -life injuries, and, and I guess the family of the people who were stabbed held the suspect down. One male suspect is in custody. One male adult is in custody. The stabbing happened at the men's department at Macy's. See if there's any other information I have for you. Well, it's bad that a couple people got stabbed, but it looks like it was two, uh, maybe injuries to the the, st the person who did this. But uh, good that we're not hearing more, and uh, perhaps good to hear that it's not part of some larger plot or some terrorism or something like that. The police are saying that it was a robbery gone wrong, basically. A failed robbery attempt. Now, this guy, Matt Belanger, who's a reporter who's been reporting on this. So, like, somebody messaged Matt Belanger and said, wife works there, six stabbed, one dead from what she knows, works at Macy's Mall of America. But the thing is, the police just said right now, two stabbed and that's it. So maybe this person got incorrect information, you know, from their wife. Maybe the wife heard a rumor and the rumor was false. That can happen. 
But from right, from right, what we know right now is the police are saying uh, only two people stabbed. There you go, Matt Belanger update. Only two people stabbed with non-life-threatening injuries. So looks like we got our answer about what happened there in uh, Mall of America. I'm going to just show you that post one more time about what happened there. Suspect attempted to steal stuff from a person in the dressing room. Victim was stabbed and another relative stabbed trying to help. They are both at the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The family held the suspect down. By the way, uh, if you want to know when we're coming on the air with these breaking news videos, we can come on the air at any time. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and click the notifications bell so you get notified when we come on the air with these videos. Uh, also, uh, you can follow me on Twitter for breaking news updates. I am at, at Lookner. I post about breaking news all the time, so you can follow me there. Also, Right Side Broadcasting is at, at RSB Network on um at RSB Network on Twitter. And also, uh, if you do like having a, a channel that comes on right away with breaking news updates like this uh, and covers stuff as soon as we can and get you all the latest rumors and everything, uh, please consider making a donation because we are viewer support supported. Viewers support Right Side Broadcasting. So if you'd like to donate, you can go to the bottom of the YouTube chat and click on the little dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat or go to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate. Okay, I'm going to stay on the air a couple minutes longer to see if we hear anything more about this story, this uh, multiple stabbing at a failed robbery at Mall of America. By the way, quick thanks to the moderators for moderating our chat rooms tonight. At the moment, I am not seeing anything beyond what we just heard. By the way, I just tweeted out, uh, but in case you hadn't seen this, um, there was a 6.8 earthquake off the coast of Costa Rica. We'll be paying attention to that. As soon as I get off the stream, I'll be researching that and uh, seeing what's going on with that. So, uh, oh, Ray of Minneapolis said the briefing just ended. So we're not going to get any more information from that briefing. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Fixie Clary, for the donation. We really appreciate that. Okay, well, I think I think we're going to wrap up the stream right now because uh, that's about, looks like we got to the bottom of the story. Sadly, the two people got stabbed there, but uh, good that it wasn't more, good that it wasn't some big, big terror attack or something from what the authorities say. So this is Right Side Broadcasting. Uh, we come on the air all the time with breaking news. So if you want to know when we're coming on the air to cover breaking news, subscribe to us on YouTube, click the notifications bell, and you can follow me on Twitter at Lookner at L-O-O. K-N-E-R. I post about breaking news all the time. Uh, for now, uh, thank you all for watching us at Right Side Broadcasting. And uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah, we will have uh, President Trump is doing an event later this evening, which we're going to be carrying. Um, uh, so if you want to want to watch that, you can go to our YouTube page and we have an uh, we have an event up for that. And also, I'm going to go check right now on this Costa Rica earthquake situation. Uh, we posted a video er earlier about the Iraq earthquake. But let me check about this Costa Rica earthquake. If I have big news to tell you, I'll come back on the air. But for now, uh, I am Steve Luckner. This is Right Side Broadcasting from all of us here at Right Side Broadcasting. Have a good night and we'll see you soon.
everything works quite well. But we don't have a breakfast. But, uh, but it's not a problem. We have a 